Okay guys, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ito, trying to show to you how to do the performance test 1 which I found out that there are several students who did not submit yet. This time, I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing is you need a plastic cover and overlap it with the map. So this one is the map 1 and now you trace it. You trace the dark mark that indicates the earthquake epicenters. Okay, so here, this has been traced already, but I am demonstrating to you how you should do this. Now, it is recommended if you have different colors of marker, like the pentel pen, say red, blue, green, or any other color that you prefer. So, all those marks will trace that way, that way, that way. This one, this one, like that. Then afterwards, you mark this as map 1 so that we are guided. Map 1. And of course, we will mark this part to show the, or to have guide, if we are going to overlap them all. So after that, I prefer you cut this portion. As you have shown, it is indicated that you have to cut this. Look at that. The scissors, right? That way. Then, we'll remove this. In my case, this is being stapled. Or you can also use a scotch tape in order for this to be fixed on a certain um, on a certain position so that it won't move while you are tracing. Then, all you need to do is to tape that on a clean band paper this way. Tape this. That way. Okay. Cut. That way. The next is the map 2. Again, we trace this. All those dark marks indicating the active volcanoes the dots are already traced but i'm going to redo this for you to be guided that way that way in this part in this part the edges of the continents here the edges of south america okay in this part now this is actually the ring of fire now take note, you do not have to trace all the entire map. You are just going to trace the that showing that it is an active volcano. The other one is the epicenter. So label this again as map 2. Then, to make it uniform with that, with the first map, we will cut it again here. Now the purpose of cutting here so that when you overlap, it is with the same size. So that we could, I will make this that way so that it can be thick that way, like a book. So that the teacher can check properly whether you did it correctly. And I will remove a staple. Or you can also use a scotch tape to secure this while you are tracing. So again, I overlap this one. This is map 2. Make sure that you use a permanent marker. There. Okay. There it is. Then, so as you can see now, I already overlapped two maps. Or to trace epicenter and the volcanoes. Look at that. I have a book like pages here. It can be flipped so that the teachers can see one by one. The other one is the map 3. So this one I already traced it. Or just add those that I did not. Then, of course, we will write again map 3. In this case, I just write M3. And be sure to dry it because earlier I was able to touch it and it was erased. You take note, this is a permanent marker, so it must be dried a little while. Then, we'll cut it again here to make the shape uniform. Okay. Then, cut it that way. And, remove from the, I guess it's so long. Huh? It's wide. I remove this one. Okay. I'll remove this part here and overlap it again as map 3. So the same thing, we will match the shape the we will match the shape. Okay, so this is actually the mountain ranges. And again, so cut it again and 
I have overlapped three map one, map two, and map three, indicating that map one is an earthquake at the center, map two active volcanoes, and the map three as the mountain ranges. So look at this. I have three pages that can be clipped. This is actually your performance task one, and all you have to do is to submit it to your teacher by, of course, don't forget the most important thing there when you have done or firstly when you have when you do this you need to write your name of course your section date and of course write performance task one and all done